for fame. And for those of you who don't know what that is, empathy is kind of like putting putting yourself in someone else's situation. So basically, step inside their shoes. And the reason why I'm making a video on this is because um, I have had lunch issues since ninth grade. And I'm in a limit now, so two years. Okay, so let me explain. So the cafeteria at my school has round tables, which I cannot sit at because I would fall. And they have booths. And I was allowed to sit in, I wasn't allowed to sit in the booth until tenth grade, so last year. But it was like halfway through last year. So, in ninth grade, these two girls were forced to sit with me. And it was just, I felt really bad because I didn't want them to like have to be forced to sit with me by the principal because that was that rude. But yeah. So they still, they suck it. They sucked it up and stayed for the majority of ninth grade. And then in tenth grade, they sat with me for like three weeks. And then they got sick of me. They were like, Do you mind if we sit somewhere else? And I, being. The nice person that I am, I was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. But it did, like, hurt that they left me. Well, it wasn't three weeks. Um, like, it was, like, the, fir the first nine weeks they stayed with me. But, but, um, when we were on, when we were going on Thanksgiving break, like, the last day before we had Thanksgiving break of... 10th grade, they asked me if we, if they could sit somewhere else, and I was like, yeah, sure, because I'm nice. But, yeah. But it felt like three weeks, which is why I said that, because it did feel like a short period of time. And even when they were there, they wouldn't talk to me at all, like, they, they would just, like, sit there and not. So it's July, then I tried talking to them, and they... I tried talking to them and they would ignore me and it was like, uh, all bad, but, yeah, so, but then, uh, in the middle of 10th grade, so like, January of 2016, uh, they let me sit in the booth for like the first time. And I was in the, I was in the last booth of the cafeteria, which no one no one sat at. So I was, I was really 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 mad. But then I decided to move to the first booth because last year that's where Brooke and Bailey sat, along with Katie and Jake. But I was there for maybe three weeks before Katie and Jake got sick of me and they left. And honestly, I thought Brooke and Bailey would do the same thing, but they, but they stayed with me and I really appreciated that. But then, um, at the end of 10th grade, at the end of last year, I asked them, are you going to be sitting here next year, which is 11th grade? And they were like, well, another one of our friends went in to sit with them, and I don't know if we're going to be in there. I don't know if we're going to be in your lunch. Which, by the way, they are in my lunch this year, because we all have, we both have A's. Me, Brooke, and Bailey have A's along with a bunch of other people. But, yeah, so I sit in the same booth that I did in 10th grade. And no one sits with me. And it's awful. 
And yeah, so, I did have a friend named Gabby who's, who said she would come over and talk to me and hug me and stuff. But that only lasted like three weeks. And then she got to think of me and stopped coming over. And recently I started having like panic attacks at lunch. Because I sat alone basically all of this year. Gabby like legitimately sat with me like one time. And that was when I was crying. Like, that's the only time she actually sat with me for more. Because, uh, like, she would come over, but she would only stay for, like, 30 seconds, if that, because she wanted to go back to her other, her table and talk to her, her other friends. And that, like, I loved that she came over and talked to me, but at the same time, it hurt that she didn't, like, stay longer. So it was kind of like a love-hate, a love-hate relationship. And, yeah. So, that doesn't happen anymore. So, basically, for the last week, like, I had, like, a mini panic attacks at lunch because I would be sitting there all by myself and it would be to the point where like I couldn't eat a full meal like I would get something like I would get banana bread or I would get a muffin or I would get iced tea or something like that but I wouldn't get a full meal which I did on Friday because I was really hungry and what they were serving was actually good and I forced myself to eat that But literally, like, the rest of that week, I did not get a full meal. I got, like, banana bread. And then there was one day I got, like, iced tea, like, two bottles of iced tea. And I chugged those down while I was trying to, like, hold back salts. But, yeah. So, after sitting alone for, like, basically the whole year. I finally went down to guidance on Friday and I talked to my guidance counselor and in short I said, look, I want to switch lunches. Is it possible? Because no one's, no, none of my true friends are in my lunch this year. And she was like, well, what lunch do you have now? I'm like eighth. And then she's like, well, what do you have here in 9-10? And I said, computers, because I want to switch into 10th lunch. So I told her I had computers, but, um, yeah, because I do. But she said, typically we're not allowed to switch lunches, but I'll see what I can do. I just have to talk to the principal. And. She has to get, like, approval for a print, for my print, but, but, yeah, so she said that she would talk to him, and then, I guess, on Monday, they're gonna, like, decide what to do, and I really hope they let me switch, because I cannot take sitting alone anymore, like, I legit, legit have a panic attack. Like, not a bad one, but I do get nauseous and dizzy, and my chest starts to hurt, and I get slightly lightheaded, and yeah, it's just not good at all. But, yeah. So, hopefully I can switch in tent because... All the people that would willingly let me stay with my lunch are in 10th, and I, and I stuck at 8th for now, but, like I said, hopefully that gets changed. But, yeah. Um, 
Anyway, my point in making this video is I just say to everybody out there, if you see someone sitting alone, don't let them. Like, come up and talk to them and ask them if they want you to sit with them. And then if they say yes, that would be great. Then just, like, sit with them and talk to them. And act like you care. Which you should genuinely care. Oh, and I forgot this one part of the story. Um, on... Thursday, I went up to the booth behind me, and I asked the two girls, Hey, do you mind if I sit with you? And one of the girls goes, Um, there, no, there's two other people sitting here, but I don't know where they are, and I'm like, thanks. Like, that made me so mad. You have no idea. Because that just made me feel like no one cared, like, at all. And it was horrible. But, yeah. So, don't let anyone sit on a lunch. Be a friend. Be kind. Be... Empathetic is what I'm trying to say, like, step into their shoes, like, how would you feel if you had to sit alone at lunch every day, and how would you feel if no one talked to you, and how would you feel if everyone acted like you were invisible? You wouldn't like it, so why would you do that to someone else? Right? There's no, there's no point in doing it to somebody else. And... That's how I get treated at lunch every day. Like, no one cares that I actually exist. Everyone acts like I'm invisible. No one even cares enough to sit with me and hug me and talk to me. And I don't know what I did, what I did wrong for Gabby not to care anymore. But I guess she doesn't, and that's her problem, but yeah. So, like, I would not let anyone sit alone. Like, if I saw someone sitting alone, I would come up to them and talk to them and ask them if they wanted me to sit with them, and if they wanted me to, I would gladly sit with them and talk to them, and just be a friend and, and, like, not leave anyone out, and, yeah, I just wish there was more people at my school, like, that, that would genuinely care and genuinely want to sit with me and talk to me and hug me, but that does not happen, and, when I find out if I got moved into 10th lunch, then I will make an update video on how it's going. And, yeah, people in my school really, really lack empathy, and it drives me insane. Like, I hate society in general, because it's just so cruel and judgmental, and... It's ugh, just society in general. It's gotten to the point where I can't even go into the cafeteria without feeling panicky. Like I can, I'll walk in there and I'll be like panicky, but but no one can tell because I show the subtle signs, but I don't go <laughs> from panic. And I feel like if I were to cry, then people would just think that I want attention and stuff. So that's why I only cried at once one time. And I came close to doing it again on, 
doing it again on Thursday when well, those two girls said I can eat soon with them. But I, ne I didn't cry. Even though I wanted to so bad. Like, my chest started hurting. Um, I started to get dizzy and I just had to get ice because I knew I couldn't eat anything. Like, it got bad, bad that I couldn't physically eat anything. I would probably throw up. But, yeah, so, my message to you is, like, ha have empathy, look at the people around you, and see who needs help, like, see it through their eyes, or at least try to see it through their eyes before you make decisions, like, before you leave someone out, then how, how would you feel if someone did that to you, and how would you feel if someone left you alone at lunch, and how would you feel if no one talked to you or acted like you're invisible, and yeah, just think about that before you make decisions and stuff like that, because I personally think the world should have more empathy. Particularly the people in my grade because they're all just like, oh, I can't understand them. But yeah, just try to be more empathetic. Like, reach out to people, be a friend, and step inside their shoes and think about how they feel and think about how you would, you would feel if you got treated like that. And yeah. Um, so that's basically all I wanted to say for this video, just have empathy, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, bye guys.